There's an option in IMS Map 360 to define a witness viewpoint. When you use the routine, you can name it. Pick the location. So I'm going to pick here. I'm going to set the target to be here. You can enter in the height for the witness. Let's say 5 feet 6 inches. And then maybe we want the target to be also 5 feet above the point I picked. It's useful to turn on perspective mode so you get an accurate representation of what they could see. And if you do preview, we'll switch the view around so you can see, in this case, what, what could the witness see from that location on the corner looking towards the other edge of the road. So that's what he could see from that spot. When you go back to the home menu, we are in perspective mode and you'll see this toggle is turned on. You can turn perspective on and off and you'll see the difference that makes. Um, when you turn on perspective mode that's uh, the accurate way of looking at the, uh, uh, the correct perspective. When you switch back to the top though you have to remember to turn perspective off. You see it's all grayed out. So turn that off, switch back to the top, yeah, there you go. Now, if we run that command again, now that I had created that previous one, I can click in here, click from the corner. I have another one I call the test here, but if I switch back to from corner, it loads the settings from that other view. And if I want to quickly go back to that, I can do it just like that. And if you want to place these views inside of your finished drawing, the best thing to do is just export it out as an image and then insert that into your paper space.